This is Nerea Diaz, 911 Record Custodian. The phone is a true copy of a telephone call on March 13, 2020, starting at approximately 0 hours, 52 minutes, 6 seconds, reference to Miami Beach Police Department case number 2020-021902. March 13th, 2020, 0 hours, 52 minutes, 6 seconds. Uh, yeah, just got a call. Uh, they're having an uh, individual there is having respiratory uh, problems. Okay, what's the address? No, and just repeat the, the room number. Thank you. What's the phone number you're calling from? Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you a few routine questions. I understand you're not with the patient now. I'll just answer as fast as you can. How old is the patient? No idea. Is there any way you can transfer me to somebody that's with the patient? Uh, let me try. Yeah, I'm going to transfer you over to uh, the room number, okay? Okay, Hold thank you. You're welcome. March 13th. 2020, 0 hours, 53 minutes, 17 seconds. Hello. Hi, I'm calling from Miami Beach Police. Can you tell me, and um, Fire Department, uh, can you tell me exactly what happened? Well, I uh, got here and uh, found two friends of mine. One in the bed not breathing very well. And it has happened in the past, but this time he doesn't wake up. He's still breathing. But I'm very concerned about him. Okay. How old is the patient? Is he awake? No, he doesn't open his eyes, but he's snoring, snoring, normal snoring. Okay, is he breathing? Yes, he is. Okay, we do have the help already on the way. This is not delaying the call at all. Is, he, is his breathing completely normal? Is what? Is his breathing completely normal? Um. Well, he's vomited once or twice, so I was afraid of aspiration. If I turned him on the side, it's very difficult because he's quite big. I so understand. He's breathing. He's breathing, but, you know, I don't know if it's compromised or not. It's, it's slightly different than usual because he's passed out. But I just want to make sure you guys look him over and see what you guys think. Okay, and is he still unconscious? Yes, he is. Okay. He's conscious part of the time, and then he loves consciousness. Okay, I understand. We do have the help already on the way. We are relaying this information to them, okay? I want you to uh, you I, I want you to get close to him, and I want you to say now every time he takes a breath in, starting immediately. Now, what do you want me to say? Now. Every time you see him take a breath, I want you to say now. Okay. Okay. Shall do that. Now. Now. Breathe now. Okay, is that him snoring? Yes, it is. Stay with me on my one moment. that way for a while. One moment. It's an agonal snoring. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's not agonal. He's had to stop. His heart has been stopped. Um, but, you know, it's. I would say it's on the shallow side. Okay, stay with me on one moment. Thank you. Is, if there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it with you. Do, um, do you know if there's a defibrillator there? I can, I can, no, not in the room. I can call downstairs. Okay, but I know I need you to stay on the line with me. Okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stand, are you right with him now? Okay, thank you. I'm here with him now. Okay, listen carefully. I need you to lay him flat on his back on the ground and remove anything under his ground? head. Yes. Okay, I'll try to put him on his in the ground. Okay, is he on Thank top of the bed? Or, I stay with me on the line. Don't hang up. He was um, he was lying on the bed. He was on the. I, he opened the door. He threw himself on the bed, and little by little, he um, he would talk to me, mm -hmm. and I said, oh, he fell asleep. But okay. then it got worse and worse and worse, and I said, no, this is something different. Okay, if so, there's if there is a sheet under. If there's a sheet under yes. him, um, I need you to loosen, loosen it from the mattress and stand at, stand at his side. Very good. I had him on his side, but now he's on his back. He's a, he's a big muscular kid. It's kind of difficult to move. Um, I understand. Um, I, I'm going to give you instructions to try to get him off of, of off okay. of the, the bed onto the ground, okay? 
Yeah, like I said, if there, if there is a sheet or blanket under him, loosen it from the mattress. Yes. Stand at the side of the bed closest to him and remove anything under his head. Okay, I will. Okay, let me know when it's done. March 13th, 2020, zero hours, 57 minutes, 42 seconds. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? March 13th, 2020, zero hours, 58 minutes, five seconds. Okay. Come on, now. I'm sorry? No. Is he moving around? No. No, he's not. No? Okay. Okay, I need you to stand at the side of the bed closest to him and remove anything under his head. Now pull the bed. Okay, now pull the bed sheets towards you. He's on the floor? Yes. He's on the floor already? He's on the floor. Yes. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove any anything under his head. Okay. That's going to be difficult for you. Hold on, ma'am. Yes. Let me know when he's on his back. Come on. Hello? To the side. To the side. He's making noises. He's making noises. Good noises. Okay. Listen carefully, I'm going to tell you how to switch. Is he on his back? Yes, he is on his back. Okay. He's facing up. Listen carefully, I'm going to tell you how to do chest compressions. Make sure that he is flat on the back, on his back, on the ground, okay? Flat on his back, on the floor. Okay, perfect. Place the heel of your hand on the breastbone in the center of the chest, right in between the nipples. Okay. okay put your other hand on top of that hand. Okay. You, do you understand me so far? Yes. Okay, I need you to pump the chest hard and fast at least twice per second and two inches deep. Let the chest come up all the way between pumps. Hold on. Hello? Sure. Hello?